Hi everybody, hope you've had a great week. Um, it's time for another Bible lesson, so I'm excited to share a new alphabet letter with you. So just to recap, we started off with A with Aaron, talking about um, Moses' brother Aaron and his rod and how he threw his rod on the ground in front of Pharaoh and uh, ended up uh, turning it into a snake and it swallowed up all the other snakes. Uh, that were there that the sorcerers threw down their rods and became snakes. Uh, we also went B, B for Bible, where we get all of our stories about God um, and uh, all of our good lessons and how we should live a Christian life. So we wouldn't know um, any of the great Bible stories that we know without the Bible. And then last week was C, and we talked about Christ um, and talked about the different names of Christ, the bread of life, uh, light, uh, light of the world, and that sort of thing, all the different names that uh, that Jesus has besides Christ. So that means we're up to D, right? Okay, so I told you guys last week that D was going to be an Old Testament uh, person, and uh, maybe you're thinking Daniel, right? Could have been Daniel, um, but we try, I thought about it, and the uh, best uh, lesson I could think of would be for D is David. So we are going to dive in and talk about David. This is a picture of David. No, I'm just kidding. I drew this. This isn't what, really what he looked like. But this is going to be our David today. So this is King David. Um, now, you guys probably know a lot of lessons about um, David. We have so much information about him um, in the Bible because he lived such an incredible life. And we get to hear about him when he's a young boy as he grows up um, and then we get to hear about him when he becomes a king so, so many cool stories so you guys probably know a lot about um about david um, but what we're going to talk about is some characteristics and so characteristics are um, things about david that made him so memorable um, and such a wonderful um, Bible character that we can learn a lot from. So we're going to talk about his characteristics. So uh, again, this is a picture of David uh, that I drew um, when he was older and when he was king. Um, but again, we have so much cool information about him um, when he was younger. So it's it's uh, fun to learn about that as well. So one of the first uh, characteristics I want to talk about with David with you guys is that David was a person of courage. So David had a lot of courage. The Bible tells us that um, even before he went and fought Goliath while he was tending his father's sheep, um, he was able to kill off a bear and a wolf that came and attacked the sheep. So you may be thinking, oh, shepherd, kind of a boring job. You know, he's the youngest son, so he kind of gets the leftover job. Um, but he really took it to heart and he really um, took pride in his work had a lot of courage. It takes a lot of courage to take on a bear um, and a, a lion for sure, especially when, when you're a young guy. So David displayed courage not only when he was younger, but you can also think about when he got older and he ended up becoming king, he had the courage to lead Israel the way that God intended for it, in a way that God intended for it to be led. And sometimes that's hard, right, to have courage, especially when uh, other people are making other choices. So I uh, definitely want to remember that David had a ton of courage. So we're going to put courage right here. You make sure you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. Okay. Uh, so our next attribute of David uh, that's really positive, a good character trait, is that he waited on God. And so the Bible tells us that um, Samuel came to anoint David or to kind of um, select him to be king of Israel. He was probably young, maybe like um, 12 or 13 at the time. He didn't actually become king until probably about 15 years later. Well, that's a lot of waiting, right? So he went from being a shepherd to being in King Saul's court. Um, the Bible tells us that he played the harp to kind of soothe King Saul, um, which is really uh, an interesting job to think about that, that that's what someone did and that someone was David. And so he he knew he was going to be king, and yet he had to wait, right? And we have to do a lot of waiting, especially right now. Um, we may not necessarily get to do the things that we really want to do. We don't get to go to the movies, don't get to go out to restaurants. Um, maybe there's some people that we're not able to see that we really want to. And so we have to wait. We have to wait sometimes. 
but that's important for us to remember is that um, waiting on God is always worth it, right? Uh, it might seem to be something that's not so fun and kind of boring and when is this going to happen, that kind of a thing. But waiting on God, again, is always worth it. It was worth it for David and it's worth it for us uh, today. And it's also worth noting that he didn't complain. He didn't say, come on, let me be king already. I want to boss people around. Uh, I want to eat a bunch of good food. No, he filled his time with uh, other godly duties until it was time for him to be king. So, put that right up here. David, oh, let's make it straight. There we go. So, David was a person of courage. David was a person who waited on God. Next attribute of David is that he, this is a big one, loved his family. So this is a big one um, because probably right now you're sitting next to your families and you've probably seen quite a lot of them uh, recently for sure. Um, but the Bible tells us uh, how much David loved his family. And one of the ways uh, it kind of tells us about this is that um, David had, he was the youngest of seven, right? So he had seven older brothers, probably had some sisters too. The Bible doesn't tell us too much about them uh, directly, but uh, their father, Jesse, had sent David to give some food to their brothers while they were fighting the Philistines. And so when David got there, um, he saw how bad Goliath was taunting his brothers. Um, and so he knew that if he didn't intervene, if he didn't step up, not only was Goliath going to destroy Israel, you know, God's people, but specifically, he would lose his brothers, right? And so uh, it made sense for um, David to step up and to kind of uh, jump in, come up with a solution because he loved his family. He put himself in harm's way. And he also loved God, too, a lot. You know, it's one of the reasons he stepped up and, uh, and fought Goliath. So um, even though you're with your siblings and your families right now, um, you might be fighting a little bit. I fought with my brothers a lot growing up. Um, but no matter what, I love them so, so much. And there's nothing that I wouldn't do for them. And so a wonderful character trait um, is to carry the love of your family, not only when you're young, um, but as you get older. Um, and that can look a lot of different ways. Maybe it's caring for each other. If one of you guys gets sick, um, maybe it's uh, sharing household, even when you're adults, things like that. So um, definitely loving your family is a wonderful character trait that David gave to us uh, that we can implement uh, and make our own. So David had courage, waited on God, loved his family. David is a pretty good guy. We got two more left. Um, the next one uh, kind of coincides with uh, probably David's most famous story um, with him and Goliath. Um, but that story, uh, one of the, the, the biggest characteristics that comes out of it for David and kind of like a, a reminder for us is that uh, David had faith in God. So when we think about the story, you know, we always picture Goliath. He's going to be nine feet tall. David's a young guy, you know, going out there, and uh, the Bible gives us such a good description of, uh, you know, Israel uh, putting kind of the armor on David and it being too big, and he's like, I'm not used to this. I can't wear all this armor out on the field. I, I know what I want to do. So he goes to the river. He takes those five smooth stones, um, and he goes out to meet Goliath, and Goliath is taunting him the whole time. Uh, but David declares that the battle belongs to the Lord. So he has faith that even though he's inexperienced, he has not gone through um, any sort of military training at all, um, he does not have any armor or anything like that, he is 100% faithful um, and believes that God is going to help him through this because he's doing the right thing, right? So of course, you guys know he sticks uh, one stone in the sling, rolls it around, and hits Goliath right in the head, and that's it. That's it. And that's a good reminder for us is that um, God is with us all the time, even in those scary instances, right, where we might feel like, oh, this is a little too much. Um, God is bigger than our fear. And a lot of times, too, you guys will run into Goliaths of your own. Um, maybe there's someone at school who's not nice, um, even maybe a neighbor that's not nice. Or um, I remember in the second grade, there was a mean teacher, and I was so scared that I was going to be in the mean teacher's class in the second grade. 
Luckily, it didn't happen. I got a good teacher. Um, but uh, we do, we, all of us have our own Goliaths. Even adults do um, as well. And so um, it's just a good reminder that there's no Goliath that is bigger than God. And uh, all we need is to have faith. And, uh, you know, we, we pick up those five stones like David. You know, sometimes we just theoretically pick them up. Um, but all it takes is one to knock down that giant. And God of course. So good character trait to remember for David is going to be that good faith in God. Okay. Now we're rounding it out. We got one more. One more. Um, so <laughs> this is a good one. So when uh, David was part of um, King Saul's uh, court, you know, he was there before Goliath. Uh, he split his time going back and forth from his dad to Saul, dad to Saul, to the sheep to Saul, that sort of thing. And then um, after uh after he killed Goliath, he became best friends with Saul's son named Jonathan. And you might have heard lessons about um, their friendship, Saul, or Saul, David and Jonathan's friendship. Um, the Bible talks a, a bit about friends and friendship and being a good friend, that sort of thing. But um, I feel like the, the friendship between David and uh, Jonathan is... Um, is really one of the, the biggest stories of friendship in the Bible. And so that's another character trait that David gives us that's um, wonderful to remind ourselves and kind of aspire to be, um, is a good friend. Yeah, so uh, again, Jonathan and David were good friends. Uh, Jonathan is going to be the son of Saul, King Saul. And uh, and yeah, the, the Bible tells that, that they were one, um, that their spirit was together. Um, so you can just kind of picture them like fist bumping, if that was a thing back then. Uh, but what happened was their friendship was put to the test when Saul got really jealous of David and was ready to kill him. And uh, you might think, well... Jonathan's going to have loyalty to his father, of course, but he didn't. He was loyal to David, and he warned David and helped David escape. And um, just the Bible talks about how sad he was uh, when, when they had to depart and that David was crying the most. And, um, and they just had a really good friendship. And in order to do that, you have to be someone who is trustworthy, right? Um, you have to be, be a good friend to have a good friend. And so that's another thing uh, that's really good for us to remember is you know, not only when we're young, being a good friend, uh, finding those friendships, finding those relationships, and then carrying them on um, into our adulthood as well um, as we grow up. Because the character traits that go in with friendship, you know, being loyal, being trustworthy, being accountable, those are all things um, that Christ, that Jesus teaches us about. And so if we're like that to our friends, we're showing them an example of how God is to everyone. And so it's just a good, um, good way to be for sure. So this is going to be our last character trait. And we'll stick it over here. And then it's the last one. It kind of gets in a weird spot because I did it weird. Um, but just to recap, great attributes of, and characteristics of David that we can reflect on and apply to our lives is being a person of courage, being a person who waits patiently on God, being a person who loves their family, being a person who has faith in God, even when those giants are nine feet tall, and being a person who is a good friend, being a good friend to, um, to others. So Again, uh, it's important to remember, like, these are all positive things uh, about David. And, you know, eventually he becomes the second king of Israel, which is a, a huge deal. And, of course, you know, we talk about him a lot. He wrote uh, a, a huge amount of text um, of the Bible, um, but he wasn't perfect. Uh, he, the Bible does talk about how, uh, how he sinned, and then he sinned even more to cover up that sin. Um, so it's important to know that he did have uh, qualities and characteristics that we don't want to be like. Um, but uh, no matter what, he always came back to God and always strived to serve God um, no matter what. And even though he did make bad decisions, he never let those bad decisions um, be enough to keep him from coming back to God. He never said, well, that's it. God will never love me again after this. Um, but he was able to um, rely on what he knew about God and know that God would forgive him and, uh, and still love him. And he's a wonderful um, lesson for us today. So again, Bible ABCs, D is for David. 
<laughs> wonderful Bible character, Old Testament. If you guys want to uh, read more about his life, more about his story, um, you'll find him uh, mostly in First and Second Samuel, is where where you'll. Uh, where you'll see David. So um, your craft or your activity for today is going to be a, last week we did a word search. Today is like a, oh, like a crossword. That's what it's called. And so some of them, um, they're all David related. Some of them you might already know and you're going to be able to fill in pretty quick. Um, others you might not know. And so um, with the clues, there's going to be Bible verses. So you can look up the Bible verse um, and figure out what word should go there. But enjoy uh, doing the, the crossword um, for you early learners. It's going to be fun to um, you know practice getting your uh, letters in those little boxes. And then for our older learners, um, hopefully it's a nice uh, review. Maybe you learn something new, uh, get some some. More Bible facts, but um, enjoy doing the crossword, and I look forward to seeing you guys next week. So uh, after D comes E, it's going to be pretty great. So don't want to miss it. Hope you have a wonderful week, and take care. And uh, hopefully we'll get to see each other soon. But if not, that's okay. Um, we still get to think about each other. We can always call, write letters, emails, all that good stuff. Um, but I am thinking about you and your families. And I look forward to seeing you soon. But have a wonderful week. Bye, guys.